हेलो मैं ऑडिबल यस या सो व्हाट वी सॉ येस्टरडे वाज द डबल इंटीग्रल uh we saw how to find out the integrals uh, when the limits are given to us uh we also solved one example where the limits we had to find it drawing the graph of the given function so in today's lecture uh, we will go ahead with some more examples where limits are not given to us so example evaluate double integral over y dx dy over the area over the area bounded by y square equal to x and y equal to x. so if you draw the diagram first of all in every double integral example you will always have to draw the diagram in order to understand the area so y square equal to x Uh, it is a parabola which is opening towards yes anyone the parabola is towards positive x axis towards positive x axis the other is the line y equal to x i should i should draw the graph In the line y equal to x. So y equal to x is the line passing through the origin. So we need the area which is bounded by these two things, the line and the parabola. So the area is this. Ah, uh, now we need to find the points of intersection. But uh, it is quite obvious. I mean, from the equation, you can see that zero comma zero and one comma one. Zero comma zero and one comma one. This point is one comma one. So there are two choices. Either I can take the strip parallel to x-axis or parallel to y-axis. So problem is nowhere. I mean, I can take the strip parallel to x-axis as well as the strip parallel to y-axis. So what we'll do is we'll actually. Take the strip parallel to y-axis. Consider strip parallel to y-axis. So whenever the strip is parallel to y-axis, which uh, variable becomes constant? X. X. So X is running from. Look at the limit of X. The vertical strip. You are going to move it from the left hand side end of the area to the right hand side end of the area. So X equal to zero. Zero two one. One. X equal to one. What about Y? Ah, uh, oh. so to. It should. It will be going from. Y to Y square. no uh, the lower limit is y equal to you need the limits for y x2 sorry um x2 um, root x sorry root yes. x x to root x exactly y equal to plus root x okay now uh, so we have got the limits 
If so, the integration so i. x to root x is, it should be root x to x, of course. Root x is the smaller value. What is the lower limit of the strip? Uh, sorry, 0, 0. Uh, lower limit is the line, right? Yeah, what is the right. equation of the equation of line is y equal to x. Yes, sir. So the limit goes from lower limit to upper limit and the upper limit is parabola where you have y square equal to x. So y will be root x. Okay. So what do we get? I is equal to the integration. X is running from 0 to 1. Y is running from X to under root X. Y, uh, the order will be dy dA. <coughs> X is running from 0 to 1. Integration of Y is Y square by 2 limits from X to under root X dA. So this will be equal to integration 0 to 1. Uh, 1 by 2 being constant will come outside. In bracket, we have x minus x square. Please check the calculations. So this is 1 by 2. Integration is x square by 2 minus x cube divided by 3. Limits from 0 to 1. So if we solve this, what we'll have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3, 3 minus 2, 1 by 6, right? 1 by 6 into 1 by 2, that's 1 by 12. Next example, evaluate i equal to double integral 1 upon x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 dx dy over the region y greater than or equal to x square comma x greater than or equal to 1. Yes, uh, who can tell me what will be the region here? How can we draw the region? First of all, this is an uh, this is not an equation. Let me just clarify this. It is not an equation. It is a uh, inequality. How can we draw an inequality? This you have done in your LPP in your 12th standard. How do you draw an inequality? We draw the graph and according to so, the inequality, we shade the region. Yes, exactly. So y equal to x square we will consider. So y equal to x square is a parabola like this. But uh, the difference between inequality and an equation is the equation gives you a geometrical figure. Whereas when you have inequality, it will give you a region. So I need to identify in which region so this plane is separated by this equation y equal to x square in one of the part we will have y less than x square and in one of the part we will have y greater than x square uh, so which region i should consider take one point and see whether it is satisfying 
So I'll take the point uh, here. Two comma zero. Zero comma two, sorry. Does this satisfy your equation? Is y greater than x square? No, sir. The region is between zero to one. Zero to one. In this complete area, in this just for uh, x being zero to one. In this complete area, you can see that uh, x square is less than y in this complete area. So uh, this complete area is going to satisfy the first inequality. The next one we need to talk about is x greater than or equal to one. So first of all, x equal to one is a straight line parallel to y axis passing through the point x equal to one. So uh, in which of the region both of the equations are satisfied. So x greater than one if you see this complete area will have x greater than one. Right. So this region uh, satisfies the second inequality. Whereas. This region satisfies the first inequality. So we need to find the region in which both of the inequalities are satisfied. So it is this part. This one. So in this region, uh, both the inequalities are satisfied. OK, the first inequality is the upper part of the parabola. The second inequality says the right hand side of the line. So this is the common region. OK, so I'll. Mark the region and let's talk about the. Equation. Yes, uh, which trip? Both of the uh, parallel to x axis. Uh, why you are thinking of parallel to x axis? Because sir, uh, one one end is lies on on x equal to one line and other is on parabola. Sir, and if we take parallel to y axis, there is no like upper limit that extends. So upper limit there will be infinity in that case. Can I do yes. that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So limits are going to be there in any of the cases. So I will do the one. The other one you can try. Oh, sorry, I have made a mistake here. Uh, this is y square. So uh, the reason why I'm going to take the vertical strip is because when you take the vertical strip in the integration, I will have the order dy and dx, right? So first I will have to integrate with respect to y. And uh, in that case you have y square. So I can use the integration one upon x square plus a square formula. What is the integration here? 1 upon x square plus a square. What is the integration? Tan inverse. X by a, right? So this formula will be helpful over here. So let's give the limits. When we take the vertical strip, uh, this point is 1 comma 1. So x is going from 0 to 1. Are you sure? Look at the left hand side end of your region. Where does your region ends? At this line it starts and it goes up to infinity. So at this uh, line, the value of x is 1. 1 point two infinity. Then I will have to look at y. Y starts from the parabola where the value of y is x square one. 2 x and y 2 y also tends to infinity it also tends to infinity the upper limit is also infinity 
cell right hand consider strip parallel to y consider the strip parallel to y and so i will become 1 to infinity x square to infinity 1 upon x raised to 4 plus y square dy d. So this is 1 to infinity. What will be the integration? Uh, you are integrating with respect to y here. So x will become constant. So uh, this can be further written as x square whole square. Right? So 1 upon y square plus x square whole square. So the answer is going to be tan inverse of. Yes, anyone? Sir, 1 upon y, y x, x square, square to tan inverse y by x square. Yes, 1 upon x square tan Into inverse tan y, by, y x by x limits from x square so, to infinity t. So this is 1 to infinity 1 upon x square in bracket when you put the upper limit tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 minus when you put x square tan inverse of 1 which is pi by 4 dx. Pi by 2 minus pi by 4 is actually pi by 4. Integration of 1 upon x square is minus 1 by x limits from 1 to infinity. You can see that at infinity it is actually 0. Minus of 1. So the answer is pi by 4. So even if it, go, it goes to infinity, no problem at all. We have advanced tools now. Uh, we have gamma function also, uh, the tool of integration that we have learned uh, just in order to solve the integration when things go wrong. I mean, goes to infinity in that case. Fine. One example I would uh, like if you could solve it. Let's see who can do it. Value it. double integral over r xy and dx and dy where r is bounded by y square equal to 4x comma y equal to 2x minus 4. I just write one homework. I think I should have given that example, but uh, no problem. You can try it later. Uh, that is easy, but different.
डबल इंटीग्रल ओवर ई टू द पावर वाई स्क्वायर डीएक्स डीवाई वेर आर इज अ ट्राइंगल with vertices zero zero two one and third one zero this you can try it as a homework Yes, anyone have drawn the diagram for the above? Y square equal to four x is a parabola which is opening towards. Positive x axis. Uh, for this line, y is equal to two x minus four. If you put y equal to zero, you will get x equal to two. And if you put uh, x equal to zero, you get y equal to four. So line is going to be like this. So minus four, right? No. So x is equal to zero, then y is equal to minus four. Hmm. Yes. Orientation will be different. If y equal to zero, then x equal to two. Sir, it's from the x fourth equal quadrant. to zero, then y will be minus four. So here you will get the point. Line will be like. This. Now. Uh, points of intersection you will have to derive it separately. Uh, to find the points of intersection, put one equation in another. So what we have is y square is equal to four uh, x will be actually two y plus eight. So y square minus two y plus eight equal to zero. Sir, minus eight. Y equal to? No, sir. Uh, I mean, y square minus two y minus eight, not plus eight. Yes. Thank you. What are the values of y now? Plus four minus two. Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, so y equal to four. X equal to four. At this point, uh, y is minus two. And x equal to one. Now consider the strip. Which strip you want to consider? Vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. Why not vertical? Changes in two points, sir. एक पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन के बाद चेंज हो रहा है यस एग्जैक्टली 
Uh, can you tell me what will be the limits when you have a strip like this? Just for uh, a knowledge, you may get some example like this also. So what will be the limits in this case if you have a strip like this? So this strip goes from parabola to parabola. What limits will give? Anyone? Sir, we can uh, separate into two equations from 1 comma minus 2 to 0 comma 0, then the upper equation. Yes, exactly. But uh, I'm asking about the limits. If you have a strip in this region like this, uh, that strip is starting from parabola and ending at the parabola. Sir, what limits your... Plus two root x. Uh, yes, please uh, repeat. Sir, minus 2 root x to plus 2 root x. Yes, exactly. So, uh, in that case, the value of y will be minus 2 root x to plus 2 root x because we know that when you take under root you get plus and minus both of them very good so please mute yourself now so let's consider the horizontal step Consider strip parallel to x. Uh, so x axis the strip is parallel to x axis. What limits we have to give, which will be constant. Which variable will be constant if the strip is parallel to x axis? So y. Y will be running from. Look at your region uh, from where you need to start moving your strip. And minus what two to four. Minus, minus two. two to four. Y is running from minus two. Y. What about X? What is the left hand side end of your strip? Zero, sir. Is it zero X equal to zero? Do you, your strip starts from Y axis. X equal to zero is Two Y. X. X. I need the value of x. Y square upon sir, y square by four. Y square by four. Y square by four. Two. X equal to y plus four upon two. Y plus four upon two. Exactly. The integration will be equal to minus 2 to 4. Next integration y square by 4 to y plus 4 divided by 2 x y dx dy. Now, this uh, you please try. Done enough. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, if we consider a vertical uh, strip. Uh, mm -hmm. Then y would be 2 root x and 2x minus 4, na? No, if you take vertical strip, the region will be divided into two parts. Your region or the limits that you will give, it will be different. We'll solve, we are going to solve one example at least of this type in the okay, further sir. lecture so in this uh, the region is divided into two parts in this region your strip is from parabola to parabola 
whereas in this region your strip is from this line to the parabola for this region you have given the right limit but in that case this region is excluded am i clear yes sir fine uh, so the final answer for this example Mm. Oh, y square equal to four x, na forty five by two. Okay, check it later. Solving an integration once you get the limits is uh, quite easy. And in theory, uh, paper you don't get that opportunity. None of the questions are asked where the limits are provided. The next type of examples uh, that we actually need to discuss is of the change of order. Okay, and the change of order examples are uh, the examples where you cannot actually solve the integration with the given limits but you can identify that this can be solved other way around very easily so uh, i will start with that kind of example where the original integration cannot be solved but if you change the limit uh, it becomes quite easy so example number 1 this question has been asked a lot of times in theory paper and evaluate integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to x oh sorry sir this one. Zero to infinity. Next integral. Y to infinity. E to the power minus x divided by x dx dy. The first integration is with respect to x. Can you solve this integral? integration y to infinity e to the power minus x into x raised to minus 1 dx sir we can take log x uh, sorry minus log x is equals to 8t what will it give me Which is uh, actually putting one by x equal to t, so minus one upon x square dx will become dt. So dx will become minus of dt by t square. Let's check the calculation. So it. it is not going to lead me anywhere so if you if you have x equal to infinity you will get 0 if x equal to y then you will have 1 by y so 1 by y to 0 e to the power minus 1 by t so this becomes dt by minus t square into t again this is this has got complicated so uh, original integration here my point is that original integration cannot be solved very uh, i mean easily so uh, in this type of cases where original integration is quite difficult to solve what we do is we try to change the order what do i mean by change of order is uh, i identify uh, to which axis is the given strip parallel to and then uh, we uh, 
change the order of that strip and give the limits and with new limits i try to solve it so can you tell me to which axis is the given strip parallel to yes anyone which variable is constant y y is constant so whenever y is constant the strip is parallel to x parallel to x so as you can see y is constant here uh, these limits are for y these are the limits for x so i can see that y is constant so strip must be parallel to x axis strip is parallel to x axis with that y is running from 0 to y equal to infinity and x is running from y to x equal to infinity let's just try to draw the diagram with the information that we have what are the equation x is equal to y x equal to y is a straight line just passing through the origin right so your strip starts from the line and goes to infinity the second equation gives you the complete idea so first is strip is parallel to x axis and second information is strip is starting from the line so which area it has to be anyone can you compile all the information and come to a conclusion sir i think it covers the first quadrant complete first quadrant yes sir the triangle i think sir because y uh, equal to z area below y equals to x area complete yes, area below y equal to x Yes, sir. Yes, because x is infinity, so it cover mm. all the uh, so the area strip below. will start from the line y equal to x. You are actually right. So strip is like this. This is your strip. But now you go to the previous equation. Y कहाँ से start हो रहा है? Zero. Y equal to zero is x x. Uh, y equal to zero is x uh, x axis. So uh, you are going to move this strip like this from this x axis to upwards. So this is the movement of your strip. So this part R, this is our region. I'll just mark this. This is my region. Uh, you should understand this. All your criteria should be. Uh, actually satisfied when you draw the region so your lower limit of your strip has to be the same as is given in the question upper limit has to be the same so this is the region if anyone is having problem with this please ask because after this everything is easy and things those we are we have already done sir uh, sir can you explain me why not uh, we are why we are not considering the region above the line in the uh, because in the it is not satisfying my condition what is my condition look at the second equation this tells me about the strip you have horizontal strip which starts from the line x equal to y that's why this region has to be only in this region your strip is going to start from the line x equal to y if you draw the strip here then your strip must start from the line x equal to 0 yes sir yes sir got it got it i'm sorry sir so now we will change the orientation of the strip as i had horizontal earlier so i'll consider vertical strip so consider in the strip parallel to y axis 
I'll consider a new strip. This parallel to y axis. So the new strip I'm making a green one. So this is vertical strip. So once we have vertical strip, this will be going from now. Uh, yes, can you tell Zero me the limits? X. Zero to x. Vertical strip. If you have vertical strip, which variable becomes constant? X becomes constant. X will be going from zero to moment. Dekho na strip ki kaisi hogi. Why you are so? You will move the strip like this now. If you have vertical, the moment will be like this. So moment will start from this point and it will go to infinity. So x is running from zero to x equal to infinity. And what about y? Y will be running from what is the zero to x? Let's put these values in our integration. So x zero to infinity. Y is running from zero. To x, our integrand is e to the power minus x divided by x. The order will be dy dx now. So the first we have to integrate with respect to y. So e to the power minus x upon x will become constant. So it will come outside. we could solve this integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x upon x what will be the integration y limits from 0 to x dx so what will happen here is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x divided by x into x dx so this x gets cancelled out the integration is minus of e to the power minus x limits from 0 to infinity. So the answer is one. Next example. Evaluate integral zero to one. Second integral four y to four e to the power x square and dx zero. These values are going to be for y, these are going to be for x. Given strip parallel to given strip parallel to yes, be x, quick. X, 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 very good. Now, uh what are the limits for this? Y is running from 0 to y equal to 1. X is running from 4y to x equal to 4.
let's draw the diagram for this x equal to 4y so that is a uh, straight line uh, which is passing through the origin whatever the line is not care about it x equal to 4y and x equal to 4 is a straight line which is parallel to y This is x equal to 4. Now, uh, strip is parallel to x axis, which is the region. So, in this, it is quite obvious. I mean, uh, y is running from 0 to 1, x is running from the line x equal to 4y to x equal to 4. So, this region has to be there. So, we'll consider the strip consider the strip parallel to y axis so we'll have the vertical strip what are the limits for the vertical strip anyone We'll have x is running from zero to four. Zero to x equal to four. Four. Y is running from zero to x by four. Zero to x by four. And let's put these values and see whether our integration is simplified. 0 to 4, 0 to 4, 4 to 1, 0 to x by 4, e to the power x square, dy, d. So as you can see, this e to the power x square becomes constant for the first integration 0 to x by 4. So what we'll have integration 0 to 4, e to the power x square. If you do the integration, you will have y limits from x by 4. So this will be x by 4 d. How can we solve this now? Anyone? Or x square equal to t. Square x square equal, equal, to, equal t. to t. Exactly. So we'll adjust the derivative of that power in the integrand. So multiply and divide by 2. So this will become 8. So e to the power x square and 2x dx. So when you take the integration of this, I'll have the integration of e to the power x square limits from 0 to 4. So 1 by 8 in bracket e raised to 4 square which is 16 minus e to the power 0 which is 1. And that is the final answer. So in the uh, next lecture, Monday's lecture, uh, we will solve some more examples on changing the order. But right now, we will stop here. If you have